This is video number five for chapter 10 in the Microsoft Excel Comprehensive Textbook for uh, Excel 2013. And we're on page 663. Number one, it says zoom to 100%. Uh, I didn't have to zoom away from 100% to see everything, so I can still see everything. So um, click on the format control to display the format object dialog box. Okay, I got a little bit ahead of myself there. We need to right click on the email option button right here, and then we want the format control. And we want to go to the control tab, which should come up automatically. And then the cell that we want to link this to is dollar sign I dollar sign 41 and click OK and then I want to go to I40 which is right here And I want to put in this formula equals index contact Okay, now what's going on here? Well, uh, contact is obviously something actually let's let's go here and take a look at this and um, we get the just a minute okay let's try that again uh, let's go click on FX here and okay it asked me what arguments I want and oh, there's two versions of this function and I want the first one that has um, an array and um, so here it tells us that we want to go to the array which is just an range of cells or um, so it's any rectangle and a row number and a column number and um, so we need to find out what contact is and if we look over here it shows us the values but it doesn't tell us where it is so let's cancel out of that and let's go back over here and type in contact and if you type in a named range up here in the name box and it will take you to where that is so what we're doing is we've got some stuff over here where we're going to be looking things up and uh, we got the number one here and it's going to uh, look up the number one over here and return email and put it in that cell for us. So that's what's going on. Um, it's kind of like a lookup, a V lookup function, but uh, it's only one column, so there is no key. All we have is uh, the row number that we want to go to. Okay, so that takes care of page 663. Let's go to page 664. And um, We're going to go to the Artist Postcard button right here. And okay, I'm, I must have moved the mouse just a fraction when I did that, so I need to tr click off of it. And let's uh, try right clicking on it again. And we want to go to Format Control. And the cell we want to link this to is dollar sign J, dollar sign 41 and click on OK. Then we want to go to J40, so it puts the 1 down there for us. And then we want another index here. Information source, and we want dollar sign J, dollar sign 41 to be our row number. And so if we go over here again to this stuff that's kind of hidden, whoops, I need to go up a little bit too. Um, the 
this is um, the range right here. That was called um, information source. Let's just double check on it. Type information source. And we got to put an underscore in there if you want multiple words, or else just capitalize the second word. And there it is. And I'll bet if I drag the mouse over this stuff here, uh, a name will pop up. And uh, I was wrong. There is no name that pops up when I select those. Okay, so we're back to uh, page 664, and um, we want the Open Studios checkbox control, which is this one here, and we want to right-click on it, and we want Format Control, and we're going to link this to K40. and click OK and true appears in K40 and now we want to click the OK button which I've done and then I want to repeat steps 1 and 2 for each of the remaining three checkbox controls using cells L40, M40 and N40 so let's right click on this and try it again right click or I'm just moving the mouse just a little bit when I do this there we go format control and we want to link this to dollar sign L dollar sign 40 and we want to link this to well, this is touchy right click on it and format control and we want this to be linked to dollar sign L, dollar sign, I'm sorry, not L, dollar sign M, dollar sign 40. And for this one, we want it to be linked to dollar sign N, dollar sign 40. And you see these two are checked, so the word, or the value rather, true, appears in these two cells. And if they're unchecked, um, nothing appears in the cells. Okay, now we want to assign some names to cells. And uh, select range A39 to H40. So here's A39, and there is H40. And we want to go to the Formulas tab. And we want to create some named cells here. And um, we want the top row here to be the names and the bottom row to be the values. So let's turn that checkbox off. And let's click on OK. And whoops, I went one too far, didn't I? Let's go to H and create from selection. There we go. And click on OK. Okay, that that bottom checkbox did not come up there. Okay, and um, now we want to assign some names to cells. And uh, we want to start with a 40 and call it last name. And that is already been entered for me. Oh, wait a second. 40 is last name. Okay, I'm just checking up here to make sure that they match. Um, what's on the top of page 665 and these first ones um, should be done for us because uh, that's what we got when we assigned the names on that last instruction we did at the bottom of page 664 um, so we should be able to go through D 40 which should say city and then state and then zip code with an underscore and then uh, telephone and then email address with an underscore and 
and up in um, C3. We want to put uh, equals A40. And in C4 equals B40 and equals C40 and in C6 equals D40 and then go over to F6 and we want uh, equals E40 and then H6 we want equals did I miss one here? No, they're staying on the row. Uh, H6 is equals F40 and then for phone here uh, which is C7 we want equals G40 and then for email which is F7 we want equals H40 okay. um, and that takes us to the end of that section of code and then the next section is going to write some code for a command button which is something that you're probably never going to do. Um, you know, you can copy code from the book here, but if you're doing this on your own, um, you know, you're not going to be able to come up with the code unless you go out and take a class on Visual Basic or buy yourself a book on Visual Basic. And uh, if you do, then you'll have a much better reference than uh, the little bit that's here in Chapter 10 anyway. Um, so, the last part is pretty straightforward, uh, but mostly it's just copying text. Uh, so we'll put that in another video, uh, but obviously uh, you are not going to be tested over this because um, in order to learn Visual Basic, you'd have to take a, you know, an entire programming course to do that rather than part of a chapter of one textbook. So we'll end this video right here then.